In this video, we talk about beginner West Coast swing and the footwork for your sugar push. Hey guys, Brian B, Miss Megan, West Coast Swing Online. We're here talking about beginner West Coast Swing, specifically the sugar push and specifically the footwork. Very quickly, let's discuss a quick history lesson. Um, in a lot of circles, this is not always called the sugar push. It's called the push break. If you're interested in the history of that, um, I'll put a link in the corner to an interview I did for the history of West Coast Swing and it will address all that. But anyways, here's what we're talking about. Uh, the basic for West Coast Swing is often called the sugar push. It's a six count pattern. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. And for the sake of this video, we're just gonna talk about a couple of very acceptable variations for the footwork for the sugar push. So first, let's go ladies first. She's gonna walk two steps forward, one, Two, she's got three options. She can triple step in place, three and, and step back for count four, and then we triple five and six, right? So we did that one again. One, two, we can dance together, together, and a triple step. Second variation, she can rock slightly forward on the three and. One, two, three and four, five and six. So if we do that again, her right foot is gonna progress forward of her left before we go back for count four. Third variation, all acceptable, all very basic, is she's gonna tuck that right foot behind. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. We did that one one more time. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So now, if Megan does her footwork, but I talk from the leader's perspective, the first version was I can dance one, two, I can dance right underneath me, together, together, and forward for three and four five and six of the anchor step. The second version is I could dance one, two, as she progresses forward, I can move a little bit back for three and four, five and six, if we did that one, one, two, three and four, five and six. And the third version, I can tuck that left foot behind, one, two, three and four, adding maybe a little style to it. If we did that again, one, two, the left foot went behind, three and four, five and six. Here's how, here's how these play out in a basic format. Regular is I dance together, together, forward, perfectly acceptable. That's actually the version that I teach in my group classes is to dance my sugar push together. However, as we get a little bit more advanced at the connections, the follower is gonna come in and I wanna absorb her body weight, so I wanna create an angle to myself. So I'm going to one, two, maybe take that left foot behind so I can use my angle of my body to absorb her weight for three and, and send her back for four. So that's a slightly more advanced version of the basic. The final one is the one that used to be common a lot in years past and now it's mainly used as a styling option where we dance one, two, we catch the follower's weight and then we hook this foot behind and it creates a little angle to our pattern. If we did the whole thing from the other side, we have one, two, together, together, back, triple in place. Now we move to the second version, three and four, and the third stylistic version where we hook behind and four, five and six. Now, in all of these, in the sugar push footwork, in basic West Coast Swing, we have to maintain an anchor step or connection away. So all of our triples, at least for the basic level, two, three, and four. I'm gonna put my right foot behind the left for five and six, and the follower's left foot behind the right. So from a basic perspective of West Coast Swing, that's a good place to start. Again, there's a lot more to this and a lot more variations. And if you're interested in learning more and really understanding West Coast Swing from a beginner basic level, all the way to becoming a, an intermediate dancer, we have created a fantastic resource. It's called the Complete Guide to West Coast Swing for beginners. It's a 25 video series that will cover the main 15 patterns you need to know. It will help you with your styling, with your connection. It'll help smooth out your footwork. It'll help you with your musicality and timing. It'll talk about um, etiquette of West Coast Swing, how to turn people down for dances, how to ask for dances, group class tips, private lesson tips, literally everything we could think of from 20 years of teaching West Coast Swing that would be helpful to you to get better and to get better fast. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the corner. It's called the Complete Guide to West Coast Swing. If you have any questions, um, please comment below. We're happy to answer them and we hope to see you guys on a dance floor soon. Mm -hmm.